I remember when I was a teenager, I used to have these dreams about this like hotel room and everybody in the room was so stoic unless they were angry, unless they had negative emotions to release. And I remember at the time I was going to a homeopathic specialist who was helping me with anxiety and depression and this was right after I had made an attempt on my life and I remember she explained to me that she feels like all people are kind of like hotels where people come and people go and some people come into your life because they want to be there and others come just to party or trash it and expect you to clean it up when they leave and that metaphor of our lives being like hotels stuck with me and she said the reason maybe you have so many dreams of people being stoic unless they have negative emotions is because that's how you feel inside and she said you need to fill your hotel with people of joy and so I started writing in these composition books about how I felt and about how I wanted to fill my hotel, my life with people who bring joy and encouragement. So that way whenever I did feel numb or I felt like I didn't deserve emotion or didn't deserve love, I could go back and even if it was about negative emotions, I could at least read about my past emotions and remind myself that I am valid and I am human. And it was just these books about my hotel life and that became hotel books. And for the last six years, that's all I've known. And my life is full of a lot of joy. I never meant to write songs that made people feel sad. I just wanted to write songs where people can relate in times where their hotel feels as though they can't relate. That's all I ever wanted. into love when we're bored and find the right emotional principle to cut like a sword over the words of a past me whispering love was the destination but we would settle for some sympathy turning myself into my own lord and then finding my own spinal cord it's finally safe to throw our bones back into the sea so we can forget what it means to have bodies when pursuing sanity just feels like some sort of couples therapy. For these dual personalities bleeding into my psyche, just questioning the answers I give to those I see. And I was taught to never let someone take parts away from who I am, but there are parts that sometimes make me want to hurt myself, so what am I supposed to do with them? Your heart is on fire when you water down your words You started my shire before you found the Lord And you justified the way you hate yourself with forgiveness Objects of obsession, these constant repetition The cycle where we try to find reasons that we're living on A product of the products I let into my heart Whether they are your lover or an object that you would rather face than dealing with your pain Or the emotional strain that comes with tearing open the seams Passionately neglecting anything but the emotional strain We transform from being two souls searching for love in a bad dream To just two strangers with shared memories And sometimes I've found stability while you kissed your soul goodbye I know a song won't do justice but it's all I have so I'll try Your heart is on fire When you water down your words You started my shire Before you found the Lord And you justified The way you hate yourself With forgiveness Objects of obsession These constant repetition The cycle where we try to find Reasons that we're living on A product of the product And a couple from each friend Will collect another 30 years And bring you back from the dead Take two years from my life And a couple from each friend Will collect another 30 years And bring you back from the dead Take two years from my life And a couple from each friend Will collect another 30 years And bring you back from the dead Take two years from my life And a couple from each friend Will bring you back from the dead Stop!
But there are parts that sometimes make me want to hurt myself So what am I supposed to do with them?